really nice, but it's just so empty. I don't know what else I was expecting at 8 a.m. on in the morning, but gotta go to a busier street, like around Flinders Station. So what I'm liking about this shot is the multi-layers with the reflection of the window and the car in front of us and people walking past. So a lot of layers in the photo and I'll stay here until I'm happy with the shot. Oh. That's good that blokes that bloke that walk past provided a bit of foreground, a bit of blur too, so you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that shot, move on. I really wanted this shot right here, and I got it with that lady fortunately, so that should be good. Now I'm starting to warm up, and the city's coming alive, I'm feeling good. It's funny at the start, I'm not confident to shoot people, but as I go on, my confidence builds, and yeah, that's why warming up, like stretching, you just uh, you just get more comfortable and relaxed as you go. What I love about old ladies, and no, there's no fetish involved, just the elegance in which they dress. Their style is classy. That's what I'm drawn to, class. Old men too, but the women's fashion is crazy, mate. That's shooting through a window. I like the lady walking past. A lot of photographers don't like when people are on their phones, but I see it as documenting today's day and age. Maybe in 10 years, there won't be mobile phones. There will be bloody goggles that people are looking into. So 50 years ago, probably everyone had a newspaper in their hand. So it's what it is. People use mobile phones. A lot of people are on the phones. Let's not pretend that doesn't happen. Thanks for striking a pose.
Oh, now she's looking good. There we go, that's a shot. Looking good. That is elegance class. Love when they stop and strike a pose for me. Makes it a lot easier. Alright guys, that concludes my day or morning in the city. Um, I got up at 6am and caught the train at 7 to get there by 8. And the streets were just too empty so I'm not going to go that early again. It's just weird when you're the only one in the street and there's someone else and you're just taking a photo of them. When there's more people it's a lot easier to get away of taking a photo of someone or something without intimidating the other person. So I'll keep that in mind for next time. I only got up so early so I could find a park at this station because after that time it's impossible to find a park and I don't want to drive into the city so um, yeah today I was using the Insta360 Go 3 um, it's uh, I really like it it's a great little camera but the battery died pretty fast and um, I, I couldn't record everything so the, yeah all around I think I got some, some decent pics very slow start wasn't happy with them all and yeah now i've got to get go to gym do some work and i want to play some footy and yeah get to bed pretty early so that's how i spend my friday nights these days nothing exciting anymore but see you next time get to the city 10 a.m minute minimum um turn this 360 go off when i'm not recording so the battery lasts longer and yeah, that's me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, let me know. I'm walking backwards because the nice sun coming onto my face. I don't want it to be backlit. So, oh, by the way, this is how I carry my camera bag. I use my gym belt. It's great back support, easy access to the lens and all my camera equipment and yeah just more comfortable and reliable than a backpack so yeah get a gym belt wrap it around and yeah you got to be intuitive and creative sometimes all right see you later